When caustic potash, aka potassium hydroxide, dissolves in water, it produces an alkaline solution along with a lot of heat. In this video, we're going to use that heat to boil an egg. To do that, I first lowered an egg into a beaker of room temperature water. As you can see, the egg sinks, which is a good indication that it is still raw. I added some potassium hydroxide to the mixture, which immediately liberated a lot of gas bubbles as it dissolved. As I continue to dissolve the hydroxide, the temperature of the solution increases steadily, and the egg starts to float. When the temperature has reached around 80 degrees Celsius, the egg is floating completely. I continue dissolving more hydroxide to raise the temperature even further. At one point, there was so much heat that the solution even boiled momentarily. When the temperature of the solution reaches above 100 degrees Celsius, I notice a crack in the egg, which I presume is caused by the rapid increase in temperature, so I took it out of the solution. From the look of it, the egg seemed to be partially cooked. In other words, I failed. Fortunately, I do have a plan B. Eggs are made of protein. What cooking does is that it denatures it by raising the temperature, causing them to entangle with one another. There's another way to denature protein, which is done by changing the pH of its surrounding. Luckily, I just happen to have a highly alkaline solution here on my bench. Yeah, seems edible.